All right, welcome everyone. We're doing a quick little uh, SummerSlam uh, preview here. We're gonna do our picks and the reasons, you know, get ready for SummerSlam. I hope to have this posted before SummerSlam, but probably won't. <laughs> but anyway, um, we have like like eleven total matches tonight, which is insane for a pay per view. But a lot. And your screen, Chris. Okay, there you go. So. The first pre-show match is the basically every tag team on the SmackDown roster match. <laughs> you got the yeah. Usos, the, um, uh, American Alpha, and right the Hype Bros versus uh, Brizongo, Ascension, and the Vaude Villains. Um, yeah, I don't think I don't know. I'm gonna go with I guess the heel team. I guess is gonna win. I'm not sure why, but I feel like they're probably going to get the win. I feel like maybe Brazongo will pin American Alpha, and then now we did them feuding for the title. Mm, nah. Yeah. I'll go with the faces. Yeah. I don't know. That one, I mean, it's the other pre-show match, which makes they no... To, what? They need to push, uh, they need to push uh, American Alpha pretty hard, so I think they're going to get the win. Yeah. Maybe. But they might have them lose, and then maybe, I don't know. The other pre-show match, which makes no sense at all, is Sami Zayn and Neville versus the Dudley Boys. I feel like Sami yeah. Zayn, Zayn deserves way better than a fucking pre-show match, but whatever. Well, um, yeah, I don't get it. He, win, he wins the feud, but he's off the show. Yeah. yeah so Sami What's up Zayn, with that? Sami Zayn's been main event and Raw, and now he's on the pre-show. So, um, obviously, Zayn and Neville are going to win. I don't see the double. Oh, there's a kitty cat. Hey. <laughs> I don't see. There's a cat. I don't see the Dudley Boys winning, so. I'd say Zayn and Neville yeah. win that one. Do you agree? Are you going to go Dudley Boys or. I'm going I'm going with Zayn and Sammy, too. Or Zayn and Sammy. Zayn, Zayn and Neville. Zayn and Zayn. All right. <laughs> The next, <laughs> we'll move right into the Dudley, or, wow. We'll move right into, I guess Cesaro and Sheamus has been moved to the pre-show. So, and they're yeah. the best of seven series. Um, I think Sheamus will win this first match. I think Cesaro's probably going to win the overall best of seven, but I think Sheamus will win tonight. Yeah. I'm going, I'm going with Sheamus in the first one. Yeah, me too. I, I feel like that's the way to go, is to have the heel win first, and then. Um, the main He's already card, beat him twice. Sheamus has to win eventually. Yeah, Sheamus has got to win eventually. That's right. Um, the main He's card, already beat him twice. Yeah, so... I, I don't know. The main card, we'll start with the... I guess it's still happening, even though even Marie got suspended. The 60 of a match. Carmella, uh, Naomi, and Becky Lynch. Which I love how Naomi just is now a face again. For, you know. Yeah. Then, versus... Well, it's supposed to be Eva Marie, Natalia, and, uh, uh, wow, Alexa Bliss. But since Eva Marie. They're either going to have to put in Maurice, or if Emma is healthy enough, maybe Emma comes back. Well, I'm going to go and say Nikki, Nikki Bella is coming back because I heard a rumor that she's been cleared to wrestle. So. Oh, okay. But yeah, that'll probably be it then. It might be Nikki, but that kind of changes who I think was going to win now, though, because if they're bringing Nikki Bella back, I'm sure she'll probably get the win. So I'm going to go with no. the heel chicks, because which kind of sucks because they broke up every other couple, but then Nikki Bella and John Cena get to be on the same show. <laughs> yeah, go figure. <laughs> so I'll I, go. I'll go with the faces. I'll go yeah. with the faces. That, with the women on SmackDown, you never know who's going to win any match, so it's kind of... No. That booking's... I'll go with Becky Lynch getting the win. Okay. Becky Lynch. I'll say Nikki Bella pins... Uh, I want to know when they're going to introduce a tag team title on the women's title on that show. Yeah. We'll go next... I think they're hesitant. Cause they're, they, I yeah. think they're hesitant because they don't know for sure what they're doing. I don't think they know what they're going to name it yet, probably. <laughs> Oh, well. we'll, we'll go to the next match. We'll go with the Intercontinental title match. Miz versus Apollo. Uh, Ap 
Paul Cruz, that is, not a Paul Creed. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'll go. I think Apollo's going to win it. I think he's going to get the title, even though he's not really been that strong. No, nah, I think they're going to run with Miz as champion for a while. I don't know. I mean, the, this feud, like, they're not pushing Apollo too much, but I don't know. SmackDown seems like they're not really pushing. No. They're not really, I don't know. Their storylines on SmackDown aren't making much sense, but I'm going to go with Miz. No. I think Miz will win. Just keep the title. I don't think What's Apollo. next? Paul is ready. Um, Enzo and Cass versus Jared Cohen's is what I call him. <laughs> I think I think Jericho and and Owen are gonna win because I think it's gonna be a burn. They're gonna win, then Enzo, and then they'll get a rematch. Yeah, I think Enzo and Cass are in a rematch. I I kind of want to agree, but. I don't know. I'll agree. I think Jared Cohen's will win. Usually, because I think they win. I think they win. Then Enzo and Cass win the rematch, and then uh, Owens and Jericho break up, and then Owens becomes a good guy. God, I hate to see Owens as a good guy, but it's probably gonna happen. Uh, <laughs> the New Day versus Gallows and Anderson. Uh, I hope Gallows and Anderson win because I think the New Day need to. They're they're getting stale. Yeah, the thing is, like, they push Gallows and Anderson as these big badasses, and now they just have them doing comedy on Raw. Just. Well, I think they're trying to make them like DX because they're yeah. doing a little edgier stuff with the whole talking about balls, balls and stuff. And stuff but, yeah, I'm and the, not... the hot the hot Asian wife. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go with the New Day. I think they'll, they're going to retain. Because I think Biggie's going to be there tonight, and he'll help them win. I hope Kofi, if they do break him up, I hope Kofi gets to go for the heavyweight title. Yeah. If he retires. I don't even know if they'll ever break him up. I mean, that I know they will eventually, but once that happens, it's going to... No. I, think, I, don't think, I think they'll have a, a nice... Uh, I don't think it's going to be like the, you know... The Shield. I think they're going to be just be like, let's see what we can do on our own as yeah. singles wrestlers, and they'll all go their separate ways. Yeah, probably. They'll have a nice, easy friendship um, breakup. Was it AJ Styles next? Yeah, we'll do AJ Styles and Cena. Ah, I want AJ to win, but <laughs> he's already won twice. It's it, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's Cena, and usually, but AJ would I think. But Cena's leaving. Yeah, so. I think AJ's going to win because he's going to challenge Ambrose next. I hope so, because Cena's leaving. It would make the most sense, because Cena's going to go away for a while. So and He doesn't do house shows or anything, so what would be the point of him getting a win? So I think AJ's going to win, because yeah. he's going to be the next challenger to whoever wins the title tonight. So I think Sounds so. Sounds good. Uh, uh, Lesnar and Orton. Uh, the match I don't care about. Um... Mm, I'm gonna go. I mean, you almost have to go Lesnar, <laughs> but I'm gonna say Orton wins because Goldberg comes out. It's a call on it. <laughs> All right, and that means I'm Goldberg. gonna go. <laughs> I'm going with Orton too, just because of the whole suspension thing or the whole uh, failed drug test thing. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna say Goldberg comes out, and at WrestleMania they're gonna do Goldberg Lesnar again. Yay! <laughs> Yeah, because that's what they do now. They um, build WrestleMania for ten months. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what about uh, Rusev and Roman Reigns? Uh, yeah, Rusev got to be because I don't want to see Roman Reigns win the United States title. <laughs> I'm with Reigns. I don't want to, but I am. God, I, you're probably right. At least the good thing is if he does win the oh, title. See. If he does win the United States title, then that means he won't be in the main event picture. So, I mean, that's a plus. Yeah. So. Um, All right. What about the women's championship? The women's championship, yeah. Sasha Banks and Charlotte. It's got to be Sasha. Like, they're not going to give it back to Yeah, Charlotte. they can't have her lose right. Yeah. Like, she they can't have her lose right after she just won it. Yeah, she ain't going to be, like, a two-day or, like, a two-week champion. So, it's got to be Sasha. Yeah. So, 
We'll do yeah. the world title next, or the WWE title, or wherever the hell they're. Ambrose and Ziggler. I think it'll probably be a good match, but Ambrose is going to win. I don't think they're going to give it to Ziggler. Yeah, I think Ambrose, too. Not after Ambrose already beat everybody for that title. They're going to keep pushing him, I say. Yeah. I mean, he can't lose it. I'm going Ambrose. Yeah. And then the main event, because I'm assuming this will be, I don't know. I mean, Lesnar Orton's probably going to be the main event. But if they have one of the time matches, we'll be the see. Main event. If they have one of the time matches, be the main event, I'm assuming Bauer and Rollins will be the main event. Because it'll probably be it's yeah. a bigger match because it's for the new title. For the Universal Championship, I am going to say... I will say, just for shits and giggles, I'll say Balor. Balor? Yeah, I'm, I am think Finn Balor's going to win. I'm probably wrong, but... I'll go Rollins. Yeah. I'm probably wrong, but hey, I gotta go different sometimes. Switch it up. So, only thing about it is it makes Rollins a four-time champion. Already. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's what's stupid. But whatever. That's what's stupid. They have these guys win the title. I haven't saw all the NXT show yet, but I did get to watch that women's match with uh, with uh, Ember Moon. Uh, Ember Moon. That damn move she does. You see that move? It's pretty fucking fantastic. NXT TakeOver was pretty I've good. I've never seen anything like that. It wasn't as good as last year's show, but it was pretty good. Well, it was decent. It was really good. It was pretty good. Tag team match was good. Tag team match Bobby was Bobby Roode was okay. But his move sucks. Like, he's got... He needs... Like, he... The glorious yeah. bomb. You think it's going to be something fantastic, and then it's a pump handle drop. Like, really? Yeah. You've got guys doing then all the, these fantastic it, finishers, and then he does a pump handle. Austin Aries was good. That match is pretty good. That match was decent. And then, you know, the whole GTS, that was crazy. I didn't think he'd do it, but I guess CM Punk's gone and dead for history, so might as well. <laughs> Finally did it. It took CM Punk's him, been gone for three years. What the hell? It took him three years to do it, but he's, he finally did it. I guess, yeah. I guess they're going to – I guess because he was doing some missions and stuff and – I guess they figured they have enough guys like that now, so they're going to let him do the GTS again, I guess. I don't know. Well, his main move was a freaking knee to the face, so I'm yeah, glad he's more of a standing knee to the face instead of running. Well, face. Shinsuke does a knee to the face too, though, so I think that's why they gave him the GTS, because Shinsuke Nakamura basically had the yeah. same move. Or he did the, yeah. he did the, fist, the double uh, stomp, and that was Finn Bauer's move, so he had two moves that everyone else, two other guys were doing, so yeah, like, eh, go back to yeah, the Yeah, he had it. Go back to doing the move you invented. <laughs> but takeover is pretty good. Yep. All right, man. All right. Well, well, we'll uh, we'll be back on here to review it. To review, uh, see how many we got right next week. Yep. Thanks for joining us, everybody. We'll enjoy Summer Slam. We'll see how shitty our picks are. So, <laughs> we'll see you <laughs> next time. Peace out, guys. All right. <laughs>